Kan Shalom, Kal Halal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechaha Kodash, double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, GMS, peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect, Adawan Ratazar, that is to say, Lord willing, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, informative, brief, and straight to the point to the elect. Okay, so uh, yeah, just a quick World War Three uh, update. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I got an article from aljazeera.com, very recent. Okay, this came out the 15th of October 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Okay, and uh, yeah, as we near closer and closer to Yahweh Shai's return, we see more tensions rising in the so called Middle East, right? And this could well and truly be, in fact, this is the, uh, the early stages of the, the statehood of the JJs bringing America right, into the war, right? This, Third World War, all right? So many things happening at once, man. So the uh, the headline says, America threatens the statehood of the JJs, but deploys troops revealing policy inconsistency. The US threatened to withhold military aid to the statehood of the JJs, but deploy troops and an anti-missile system at the same time. The deployment of an advanced United States anti-missile system to the, the 1948 is along with the 100 troops to operate it marks a significant escalation in US entanglement with the widening statehood of JJ's war that Washington has already heavily subsided. But the deployment in anticipation of an Iranian response to an expected JJ attack on Iran also raises questions about the legality of US involvement at the same time, or at the time, sorry, or at a time when the administration of US President Joe Biden is facing growing backlash over its unwavering support for the JJs. It also comes as US officials are seeking to project authority and threatening to at last enforce US law prohibiting military aid to countries that block human humanitarian aid as the statehood of the JJs has regularly done in Gaza. Okay. So, hey man, you know, things are, are transpiring, all right? And we're going to open up with the scripture in the book of St. Luke. All right. Uh, chapter 21 and verse 25 and it reads and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring okay so <clears throat> you know the main point here man all right distress okay of nations with perplexity and things like that man all right and when you know, someone is perplexed, right? They're not able to handle or understand something complicated. They're in a state of bewilderment, if you will, okay? So, you know, we're in a time of, you know, of war, not a time of peace, man, all right? You've got wars and rumours of wars, man, okay? America is in bed with the statehood of the JJs, right, to fight against Persia, which is Iran, which will bring out Russia, because, you know, Russia is a guard, you know, to Iran, all right? So now they're, yeah, deploying 100 troops, and if something happens to those troops, then it will justify them going to war, okay? Other things, of course, has to happen too, you know, especially the MOTB, the RFID micro CHIP, right, being made mandatory all over the globe, all right? That has to happen first before the nukes, you know, fly. But, you know, this is prophecy, man, okay? That's why we're excited to, to see articles like this, man. That means the digital all mandatory implementation, or implementation is very close. All right, so let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 45, okay? <clears throat> and it reads, Therefore hear you the counsel of Ha'adawan Yahweh that he hath taken against Babylon, and his purposes that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. You see? And who's in the land of Israel right now? E, right, beginning with his chief tribe, Amalek, the small hatters, the 1948ers, man, the big nose people, all right? And of course, you've got the heathen nations there as well, like Ishmael, which are the so-called Arabs, you know? You'll even have some Hamites there and things like that. Some of the heathen nations sprinkled in there too, all right? But the point of the matter is, is that the least of the flock is Amalek, right? The Edomites over there in the so-called Middle East in the state of Israel, man. They're going to draw America out into this war with them, all right? <clears throat> this will happen as uh, America is, is a guard to the statehood of the 1948ers, whilst at the same time, Russia is a guard to Iran, all right? 
and not just Iran, but you know, Libya, Ethiopia as well. If we go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38. <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 38. Yeah, this lesson is primarily quick here. All right. Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 1. And the word of the, of the Lord Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech, and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And say, Thus saith the Lord Power, Yahweh, Behold, I am against you, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech, and Tubal. And ultimately, the Lord is against Russia, but he's just using them, you know, to go against America. All right. Now, I'll turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws. You know, when you go fishing and you, you know, catch a fish, all right, and you hook it, all right, and you're reeling it back, you're turning the, you know, you're reeling that fish towards you. So the Lord is putting that old former Soviet USSR spirit on the Russians and putting that warlike spirit back onto them, man, all right, turning them back like that. Okay, an all line army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Here it is, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Goma and all his bands, the house of Togomar of the North Quarters, and all of his bands and many people with thee. Okay, here's the point. Be you prepared and prepare for yourself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto you, and be you a guard unto them. So Russia will take command and leadership and protection over Iran, right? Over Libya, all right? Over Ethiopia, all right? Over those nations, you see. So that's what's getting ready to happen, and it's so close, man. Revelation chapter eleven. Get this last one and close out. Verse fourteen reads: The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. World War One has passed. World War Two has passed. You know, and we, you know, in the beginning stages of World War Three. Okay, so yeah. Two recent developments, the Sunday announcement that uh, that the U.S. would deploy troops to the state order to JJ's and a letter sent by U.S. officials the same day calling on the small hatters to improve the humanitarian situation in Gaza or face unspecified consequences, underscore the inconsistent approach of an administration that has effectively done little of substance to rein in the state order of the JJ's ever-widening war. All right? So, what we'd rest, but that's where we're at, man. So with that, I'm going to say shallow one.